In this week's video, I'll be coming back to the world of art books and taking on the challenge of drawing in the book full of 500 drawing prompts. So I did creative book. I even did the Rectus Journal book for last week. Now it's time for me to take a look into another book. The 500 drawing prompts. Well, why don't I have kind of forgotten where I got this book, but now I remember where I got it. I, I got it from Myers. And I actually like some of the prompts in this book, so let's go ahead and check out some of these prompts in this book, shall we? Yeah, so, um, my recording kind of messed up on my computer, so I wasn't able to record the rest of this part, but your dragon will be able to see what this drawing will look like in the end. So, stay tuned for that. Anyways, here is the book. Finally, we can get to the book here. I open to a drawing Ooh. page to find my very first prompt. First, I need to remove all of these sticky notes that I had in the book for some reason. I don't really remember why these sticky notes are in the book. Uh, let's just move on. Once all the sticky notes have been removed, it's finally time to find a random page to do a random prompt. So I found this page here, and since I didn't know what prompt to do, I decided to close my eyes, which you can't see, and blindly place my hand on the book to pick a random prompt. Of course. Yeah, pretty good, solid idea I had. Once I finally picked out a prompt to do, which is the glass slipper, I had an idea that I wanted to put into this page, so I pulled out my pencil case, a pencil case that I don't use anymore, and started getting to work on the sketch. While the video jump ahead to this point, where the snake plus the shoe was pretty much done. Yeah, I don't know what happened here, but we're here now. So I finished up a few things on the snake here. Yes, I added a cute snake into this artwork. Don't worry, glass shoes will still be added. And I felt like it would be like boring if I didn't add anything else beside the shoe. So I added a cute snake as well. Finally, once the snake, also the shoe, was done being sketched out, it was time for the line art. And I grabbed out my pens to get the job done. I quickly but nicely did the outline of this guy and grabbed out some coloring pencil to complete the artwork. So before getting started with the coloring, I pulled up a reference of a ball python to get some idea on the snake pattern. Because this snake dragon is a python. Once I found a good reference, I quickly sketched out the pattern onto the snake and started coloring him in. This took a very long time to do, because it had been years since I colored with color pencils. So I'm kinda out of practice with this one, but I felt like the artwork turned out really good in the end. I went back and forth with the snake and the shoe. I colored the bottom half of the shoe brown. I regret this to this day. However, it wasn't the shoe that took me the longest. It was the snake that took me the longest to color in. I had to get every detail on him and to blend in the colors that I was using. I wanted to go with more of a cool color theme for this guy, so I didn't use any red or yellow in this artwork. I did, however, use a bright color pencil for most of the snake. I did use a much lighter blue color for the glass shoe because I still wanted to color that part but leave it see-through. And yes, I colored the eyes and tongue blue as well. I used a black color pencil for the shadow of the snake and dated the page. Now it's time to move on to the next prompt for this book. I've chosen another random page, and once again, just like the last time, I finally picked the prompt for this page, and I've chosen a fire truck. However, I didn't want to draw a full realistic fire truck because that would take me forever. I just decided to draw a heat wave from Transformer Rescue Bot because, well, um, he's a fire truck in that show. Even though Optimus Prime was a fire truck in the animated series, I went with heat wave. So, end of that story. Anyway, I had my art supplies with me so I got into work. And this time, you guys will get the chance to see me sketch the whole artwork. Don't worry about it. I sketched him out after I found a reference on the internet to And after I was done, I outlined him with my pens once again. I grabbed up my coloring pencil and got to work. This one, unlike the other drawing, didn't take me that long. Well, that's probably because Heatwave doesn't have a whole lot of details, unlike my snake creature. And I also used the black color pencil to add in some shading. Wait, I didn't add shading to Heatwave? Did I forget to add shade to him? Doesn't matter. We need to move on to the next page. Once again, I picked up another random page and I blindly picked the prompt. And this one is movie poster. Now I could have created my own movie poster for this one, but around the time I was recording this video, Markiplier had released a teaser trailer for an upcoming movie, I Long. So I created a movie poster of that movie. Now, I absolutely love how the sketch turned out, but when I tried to add in the text on top of the page, it pretty much ruined the piece, and I made it too big. Also, I didn't want to erase it because I was afraid that I would ruin the whole piece even more, so I left it the way it was. But I did took a picture of it and worked on it in Photoshop. If the artwork is done by the time the video comes out, I'll put it on the screen. If not, you guys can go check it out on my Instagram. 
because I'll definitely be putting it up on my Instagram. Now, with the last two artwork, I did use color pencil for them. This time, however, I didn't want to take forever to work on this with color pencil, so I decided to use watercolor pens just to finish this one up. Even though I really don't know how to use them really well, but that doesn't matter with this one. This one was a bit of a struggle for me because, well, like I've mentioned, I don't really know how to use watercolor pens or watercolor in general. So it didn't take me long, but it was kind of a struggle. But I managed to get this page done and dated, just like I did with the last other two pages. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not taping this page up. Well, I want to finish the whole page up before taping it up. That's why I'm not taping it. But, but even though I'm not taping this, these pages up, that's not going to uh, deprive us for the final result. Let's go take a look at them right about now. done we got more pages to work on and i really don't know how to end this outro so uh bye <laughs>